Hi Chewies, here's Alexandra and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we uh, have a look at the Warhammer Stormbringer magazine. Uh, it just launched here in Germany. Um, I know this uh, magazine is uh, up on the UK side of things uh, for <clears throat> over 30 months now. Uh, th 30 issues, not 30 months. Um, but yeah... Uh, it just launched in Germany, and uh, I wanted to unbox it. I just uh, came across it uh, at my uh, local grocery store, and uh, at the uh, magazine dealer there. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. What is uh, Warhammer Stormbringer? Um, it is one of the uh, collection ma magazines uh, from uh, Hachette Parchworks. Yeah, Hachette, <coughs> and. Uh, you might uh, already know some of the precursors uh, for this magazine. We had uh, Warhammer uh, Conquest with um, <coughs> Space Marines and Death Guard. We had uh, Warhammer Imperium with uh, Space Marines and uh, Necrons and uh, some Adeptus Sauritas and Adeptus Mechanicus. And uh, in the UK side we had already uh, one other uh, Age of Sigma related uh, magazine that was uh, Warhammer uh, Mortal Realms. It had the uh, contents uh, from um, the Soul Wars box with the Stormcast Eternals uh, with the Sequitors and stuff. And on the other, uh, on the evil side, we had the uh, uh, Night Horns. <clears throat> and uh, this time around, uh, this is uh, the Stormbringer magazine, and as you can see here from the uh, cover art already, this is uh, themed around uh, the Warhammer Age of Sigma Dominion box set, <clears throat> and uh, it contains the uh, Stormcast Eternals and the uh, Uruk War Clans of the Cruel Boys. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, issue number one. It uh, cost uh, two euro ninety nine uh, cents, and uh, the additional magazines are uh, six euro ninety nine for issue two, and then every following issue is ten euro ninety nine, so eleven euro for the magazine. What you get in the magazines uh, are obviously miniatures, like you can see here. Already, we uh, take a closer look at that. Uh, uh, soon <clears throat> and you get the magazine. The magazine is uh, targeted uh, definitely at uh, beginner uh, level uh, players who uh, want to uh, well start their Warhammer career um, with this magazine. Um, you get step by step new uh, units, uh, new paints, new um, terrain sets for your games and uh, uh, in the magazine itself <clears throat> there are uh, lots of um, uh, scenarios that you can uh, play with uh, each episode with new models and so on and uh, yeah let's uh, have a look at uh, what we have here actually inside and uh, how you can uh, <clears throat> get this magazine also is uh, <clears throat> And big thing <clears throat> because this magazine has uh, basically uh, two versions uh, how to acquire it version one is uh, that you um, buy these at your local uh, store your magazine uh, store or your lot lottery store or whatever uh, store you have that uh, carries these magazines <clears throat> maybe uh, on a train station or something like that <clears throat> They are uh, often seen there. Yeah. So uh, let's turn this uh, thing around and see what the back shows. So um, here you can see. Uh, uh, obviously, this is uh, definitely in German here. Uh, everything uh, here you can see the uh, first few uh, issues, uh, all the contents you. Uh, basically get uh, the contents of a small uh, starter set in the first uh, three issues. Uh, in issue one you get here the uh, Stormcast Eternal uh, miniature. Uh, this is a Knight Arcanum and uh, one Cruel Boy's Boss with a, a step rod. Uh, this is uh, issue number one. Issue number two is an uh, entire uh, unit of uh, Crew Boys 
here in uh, issue number two. And uh, in issue number three, you get uh, five Vindictors. And uh, yeah, with that, you have uh, already a small little army with the first uh, three issues. And then uh, here you can see in issue number uh, four, you get uh, four paints and a brush. And uh, basically this uh, entire magazine continues uh, in the same vein. Um, you get magazines with uh, models, some with brushes, some with uh, paints, some with uh, other uh, content. <coughs> and uh, let's have a look what we have here. So, here we have uh, now the full content of the entire collection. What uh, will be... Uh, well, gathered over the time. These are all the paints. Let's uh, count them. Uh, 4, 8, uh, 12, 10, 20, 24, 28, uh, 32, 37, 7, yeah. 37 roundish uh, paints, if I have counted correctly. I guess not. <laughs> we will see. Uh, some will correct me in the uh, W do probably. Um, then here uh, in the army of uh, the light side, you uh, see all the Stormcast Eternals uh, that you get. You get also some uh, Sylvaneth units here and uh, some uh, Corridor Overlords, I guess. Um, yeah, here are some of those units. And then on the crew boys side of uh, things, you get a lot, whole lot of uh, Hopgrot slitters, and uh, <clears throat> crew boys obviously, and uh, some uh, Moonspite Gits stuff here, uh, Trogoth uh, units. You get uh, war machines here with a, a big uh, shooter. Then uh, here with uh, crew boys riding on monsters here and there. This is uh, on a troll. This here is a giant. <clears throat> then uh, an orc sh shaman, some uh, other uruks are among there. Here you get some squigs, some night goblins. Yeah, so uh, this will be a really, really nice uh, um, orc army. <clears throat> and uh, obviously you get a little bit of terrain here also. It's not as much as... Um, in uh, Warmer Conquest you get on terrain, so this is definitely a plus for this magazine. <clears throat> uh, here on the Songcast side you get also a chariot, and uh, here the big archer guy, one on a, a, a griffhound here, and uh, two on a dragon, special character model here, <clears throat> there again, <clears throat> Vindictors, uh, what else can I see? Uh, Griffhounds, character model here, yeah, so uh, it is a all around a uh, really really nice collection. So, and um, then you can uh, also get this as an abonnement. You can, uh, well, uh, just order them as the abo, uh, abonnement and you uh, get uh, some uh, gratis stuff uh, stuff for free uh, in several of the uh, of the orders in the first order um, you get uh, the magazine one two three um, and uh, one magazine uh, gratis and you get a side cutter I can actually show you how this looks this is uh, one of those I have those here exactly from um, uh, Warmer Conquest. <clears throat> and then you get uh, some glue. This here is uh, the old version of that. Uh, I uh, peel the sticker off. But uh, yeah, that's the glue that you get. Uh, I... Now that's the smaller version of that. So uh, this bottle should be this big, not this big. <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, you get the mode line scraper, which you can uh, definitely uh, toss into uh, the garbage uh, directly. Yeah, and uh, then you can uh, also make the premium abonnement for this uh, Stormbringer magazine. Um, yeah, where you uh, pay uh, two euros extra per magazine, 
So keep that in mind, that accumulates uh, to a lot of money uh, in the end. And uh, with uh, some of the uh, deliveries, uh, you will get then um, uh, one dragon for the Stormcast, one uh, giant uh, beast, uh, uh, it's a wyvern uh, with a, uh, with a um, orc boss on top. Then you get uh, from, from the Cardon Overlords here, this uh, little... Um, little blip, this uh, uh, Zeppelin, and uh, at the final uh, stage you get uh, here four Trogoth, three uh, of the unit and one character model. Yeah, and uh, um, those will be uh, premium deliveries in delivery uh, number 7, 12, and 15 and such. So uh, you won't go get them uh, directly, keep that in mind. So... Um, what would I uh, recommend you to uh, get? Should you get the... Uh, um, oh, and by the way, here you get a nice little poster. Well, little, it's quite big of a poster in episode one. Let's see how big this is. These are uh, 35 inches by uh, uh, 22 inches poster quite large, of uh, Indrasta. Neat. It's the cover art of the uh, Warhammer uh, Fantasy, Warhammer Age of Sigma um, uh, core rule book. Yeah. So let's uh, continue with the magazine. Then you get uh, here a, um, a nice little board. Board number one is on one side here, this desert plane, and on the, on the other side here you get uh, for your first uh, missions uh, a nice little board with these uh, circles. In the first uh, episodes uh, you won't uh, have to measure your distance uh, between the units. You just place units around the circles and then you can pop them from circle to circle. So that's uh, why the circles are there. In later issues you get uh, different uh, versions of those. So you can have a battlefield without the circles there. But... Uh, from the beginning, you uh, have one without them. It's just a desert terrain. You can also use this uh, quite nicely for Warmer 40k if you so desire. Yeah. Um, what else do we have here? So, uh, here we get uh, a fold out uh, with a detailed uh, description of what you will get on miniatures for your uh, Uruk uh, War Clans. You can uh, definitely. Uh, have a look there. You can pause that and uh, analyze it for yourself. And then on the other side, <coughs> you get the same for the Stormcast side. You can see what they got. Yeah, also there's uh, some name generation and you can uh, mark off what you have, uh, what you uh, have built, painted and played with. <clears throat> Something uh, neat for a beginner painter. Yeah, and then you get the magazine itself. So, uh, the magazine, uh, like I said before, is targeted at uh, beginner um, players. Veteran players uh, might have a look uh, through it, and uh, after that they... Uh, Never look at that again. With that uh, thing here, you can uh, give that to your uh, local magazine uh, retailer and uh, pre-order your stuff. <coughs> yeah, um, you can see that uh, these uh, are pre-hold. Uh, it's because uh, they are supposed to go into a binder. <coughs> and uh, they are... Um, split into uh, several different sections. You have uh, the law sections here with this uh, brown banner. Uh, you can uh, see that here, the contents. Uh, law, collecting, uh, building, painting and playing in this uh, different uh, color bands. And uh, so you can, uh, um, well, rip this uh, 
magazine apart and uh, put it into the binder into uh, the different categories and uh, step by step with each magazine <clears throat> you get more and more collection so the uh, um, the law section will get bigger bigger and the painting and the uh, building parts also so uh, let's go right through it uh, you get a, a welcome message to the uh, age of sigmar then a little bit uh, lore about the stormcast eternals uh, how they function about uh, um, the uh, world itself where it plays then uh, here you get a little bit about uh, uh, the uruk war clans and especially the crew boys or in german the moorpilcher and here you get uh, <clears throat> to roll the name for uh, your knight, a cannon, a little bit of role-playing aspect in there. And here you can see the uh, binding is not very good, so it is not a magazine to uh, uh, read through. It is definitely designed to uh, put it into a binder. Same for the uh, uh, crew boss, uh, killer boss with peak squad. Uh, name generator and uh, stuff. You can uh, see then the uh, instructions to build uh, your miniatures. Here's uh, the first page for the painting guide. Well, obviously in this episode, in this magazine uh, issue, you don't have any paints, any brushes. This is just uh, the prelude of what uh, to come, the first page of the uh, painting tutorials. And it uh, says here that uh, will come in the future. And here uh, you can now see uh, the gaming aspect uh, of the magazine. It uh, tells you uh, how to play the game step by step. The first is uh, just literally uh, put the uh, two models on the battlefield and uh, roll dice until uh, one model is slain. Yeah. Here you can uh, again see the uh, whole content of the entire issues. Here's uh, the content of the next two issues. Like I said before, here 10 crew boys, and then 5 vindictors. Yeah, and uh, here we get uh, another uh, commercial for the um, for the uh, abonnement that you can uh, get here. Um, all the uh, <clears throat> gifts that you get. Uh, first uh, gift is, like I said before here, the uh, clipper, the glue, and uh, the motor line remover. Then uh, you get here the binder where you can uh, uh, put all your stuff in. Then you get a, a heat... Uh, altering mug with uh, some stormcast eternals on it and then you get here the uh, hagok with a seventh uh, delivery uh, this was uh, a store anniversary model for the crew boys it's uh, just another boss that you can uh, put into your army yeah so if you um plan to um, make an abonnement with them keep in mind that you don't get uh, one magazine you will get um, a delivery with uh, four to six magazines at once and also the magazines are not uh, uh, necessarily separate so what I mean by that is uh, here you can see this is one magazine and uh, in later issues, uh, you will get a block of magazines. Uh, I had that in Warhammer Conquest already. Um, you get the block of magazines and then the uh, the content uh, separate in the box uh, themselves. And you get uh, then uh, a payment issue and uh, you can pay the stuff or send the uh, entire issues uh, back to uh, Hachette Parchberg. And... Um, yeah, definitely, um, I would say it is worth uh, to uh, go through the collection if you want uh, to have either of uh, those armies, <clears throat> if you want to collect Warhammer Age of Sigma, if you want to collect the Cruel Boys or the Stormcast Eternals, or both. I would definitely uh, recommend that you do this uh, collection uh, with two persons. Um one person uh, getting all the issues with the crew boys, <coughs> the other person uh, with the Stormcast, and that you uh, share the uh, paints with each other, or that maybe one also pays for the uh, uh, for the paints uh, issues and get all the paints. It depends on you what you want. 
And uh, yeah, with the two persons, uh, this comes quite affordable. Uh, overall, the uh, contents of uh, these magazines is generally two to three times uh, the uh, price amount that they uh, would uh, normally cost if you would buy them directly from Games Workshop. So, um, Stormbringer will uh, go over 80 issues, if I'm not wrong. <clears throat> so, 80 issues uh, by 11 uh, euro. It's quite a bit of money, uh, and um, for a weekly purchase at your local um, local magazine uh, retailer, it's quite affordable. But if you uh, make the abonnement and you have to pay uh, um, sixty five uh, euro at once, um, it can. It could be steep, so uh, be careful if you uh, make the abonnement, <clears throat> if you can uh, afford it, uh, have a good look at it beforehand. So um, what I will do, I will definitely uh, get these two issues here, episode 2 and 3. Other than that, I'm... Um, I'm done. I will not collect the entire uh, magazine Stormbringer simply because I already own a lot of Stormcast Eternals. I have a backlog that is uh, <clears throat> uh, two times the uh, um, uh, uh, second edition uh, box set for the uh, Stormcasts. And uh, also I have uh, Cruel Boys uh, enough. So uh, for me this uh, magazine is not uh, a good um, collection. So I will not do that. But I wanted to present uh, at least the first <coughs> two or three uh, issues to you. So that you uh, have something to look out for. So uh, then uh, we come to the miniatures. Yay! Finally. So, uh, in this box uh, you get uh, six dice, the bases definitely, and uh, the miniatures. <clears throat> so, let's have a look. What do we have here? Come on. and there we have them so uh, you get uh, definitely the uh, knight arcanum here and uh, the crew boys uh, boss those are uh, miniatures that you uh, would normally get from the starter box sets uh, that's also the reason why they are one uh, sprue and uh, yeah here, uh, production Games Workshop 2021. Those are definitely sprues from the uh, Dominion box. I have already uh, uh, this sprue, and uh, I have also uh, already painted uh, this uh, uh, Night uh, Night Arcanum, and uh, also one of the uh, Crew Boys bosses. I have already also painted uh give me a second uh i'll be back in just a moment with the painted versions of those one minute <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the wait, and uh, here we have them. I've uh, modified this one here. He doesn't wield the axe; he's wielding his mace. There we go. 
and this here is the Knight Arcanum. Those are the two miniatures that you will get in this magazine. And so do they look when they are painted up. Yeah, I hope you like this uh, little unboxing of uh, the uh, Stormbringer magazine and uh, you got some uh, useful information out of it. And uh, well, we see us in the next video uh, on my Project Necrons. I hope you see you there. Leave a like and uh, leave a comment uh, for the comment gods. And uh, we see us in the next video. Bye.